for for us. And and so this this message tonight, I believe, will touch all of our hearts. And I believe that he wants us to move on it. He wants us to move on this message. And that is the moving into that, um, those new beginnings that he has for us. So I'm going to turn it over to Brother Fred. Okay. The title of the message tonight is Realm of New Beginnings. God has new territories for us that he wants us to move into. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm praying that this message will be a catalyst uh, to uh, help move us, motivate us, and give us insight into moving into the uh, new realms that God has for us, the realm of new beginnings. And it, it's important to realize that we are spirits and spirit beings and no longer are we just mere men and women or walking on the earth and just dealing with a bunch of uh, problems and troubles and all of those things. But, but God has recreated us and uh, brought alive our spirit man within us. And so we are spirit beings and that's important for us to understand. And he has new areas for each of us uh, that he wants us to move into. And it might, I'm going to give you some examples of what I'm talking about. It might be uh, spiritual fruit. Maybe there's a new level of spiritual fruit that you need to develop, that you want more joy or more peace in your life or, or uh, self-control or goodness or whatever it is. Or it may be you want to operate in the giftings of the Holy Spirit. Uh, some areas, maybe you've been... Uh, very comfortable and proficient in one area of gifting, but but maybe God wants to move you into other areas. So those are just some examples uh, of what we might be looking at tonight. But this is a prophetic message, and God has spoken to us uh, mm -hmm. through prophetic words uh, for a while, but he's really accelerated that in recent days. <clears throat> and so some of these things uh, are not just things that uh, just logically fit in order, but things that the Holy Spirit is saying, and that's what we want to share with you, and about new beginnings, <clears throat> excuse me, so this is about new beginnings, new things, and it says when uh, we're born again, where our spirit is recreated, and all things become new, now that didn't really uh, mean much to me when I first was born again, I had gone along for a few years, and then uh, I accepted Jesus uh, as my Lord and Savior, and I knew my spirit man was alive, but that was basically all that I was aware of. Uh, as far as my circumstances, everything looked very, very similar, and I just moved on from that. But with the Holy Spirit and being immersed and filled with the Holy Spirit, things began to change and things began to open up. And so 2 Corinthians 5, uh, 17, I want you to read here because this is the core of the message second corinthians 5 17 therefore if anyone be in christ he is a new creature all things have passed away and behold all things have become new so it says all things have become new that we're going to be focusing on here tonight so they really have changed and want to show you how because god is inviting you into a new realm, and they mm. a realm of new beginnings. Mm. And we see that uh, from Colossians uh, 2, that uh, the whole fullness of the Godhead dwells in Christ Jesus. And where are we? We are in Jesus. So read this verse here, please. Colossians 2, 9 and 10. For in him dwells all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. In verse 10, and you are complete in him who is the head of all principality and power. Hallelujah. So here's Jesus Christ and the fullness of the Godhead dwells in him and we dwell in him. We are in Christ. And so we have access to the fullness of God. Now, Ephesians 2 says that we're no longer just mere uh, men and women walking on the earth, but we've been raised up mm -hmm. to the heavens. Mm -hmm. And so read this here, please. Ephesians 2, <laughs> verses 5 and 6. God made us alive together with Christ. By grace, you have been saved 
and raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Okay, so we're not just on this earth. We're in another realm. He has raised us to another realm. And Colossians 3 verses 1 through 3 says, if we've been raised with Christ, mm -hmm. then we're to seek those things which are above mm -hmm. where Christ sits at the right hand of the Father. Now read this verse to us. Here. Okay. If then you have been raised up with Christ, seek those things which are above where Christ is seating, seated, seating at the right hand of God, sitting, sitting, sitting. <laughs> set your minds on things above, not on things on this earth. Hallelujah. Uh -oh. For you died and your life is hidden with Christ in God. So it says here that we're to set our mind on things above. We're to desire to go to another realm. Okay. Uh, if we're in our comfort zone, then get ready for movement okay. because the Holy Spirit is going to move you and it may not be comfortable. It may not feel uh, good to your natural man, to your flesh. But if the Lord is doing it, then it's going to propel you into his perfect will. And I don't know about you, but that's where I want to be. I don't want to be in his good will or his acceptable will. I want to be doing his perfect will. Whatever Amen. he tells me to do, that's what I want to do. He has prepared good works for you. Amen. And he did this before the foundation of the world. So he knows what he wants you to do. And we're going to have to walk into that realm where he is, into that realm of new beginnings. Now, to, to begin thinking about the realm of the new beginnings, I want to think about creation for a moment. And these are things you're very familiar with. And we won't go over in a, a lot of detail, but creation is talked about throughout the Bible. And uh, see, used to, I, I thought creation was a an event that happened at some point in time long, long ago uh, in a place far, far away. <laughs> but it is more than that. It is, we see this throughout the Bible. See, in Genesis 1, mm -hmm. it begins talking about creation and the beginning. In the beginning. In the beginning, God. Oh, hallelujah. That, that's a good place to start. Mm -hmm. and, and so, in the beginning, we see that the earth was void and without form. And one, one of the words means sterile. That it was sterile. There was just yeah. no life there. No way to bring forth life until the Holy Spirit began to hover and move. And then God began to speak. And he said, light be and light was. And then we move over to Proverbs. And it says everything was created by wisdom. And then we move over to the book of John in the New Testament. And it says, uh, again, it's talking about beginning because we're, he's wanting us to come into a realm, not just to think, oh, that was something that happened a long time ago, but that's in eternity. See, our God operates in eternity. He's not in the time realm mm -hmm. that we are. And so we need to be where we have been seated in heavenly places and begin realizing that the new beginnings are ongoing. It's an ongoing process. We want to be a part of it. We see in John 1, 1, in the beginning was the Word, word. and the mm -hmm. Word was with God, and the Word was, <laughs> word God. was God. And everything that was created was created by Him, and without Him was not anything, anything made. Was made. It, it's all, but you know, that's not the end of it. Revelations is still talking about uh, creation. Amen. And uh, I am the Alpha and the Omega, <laughs> the beginning and the end. Says see, the Lord. See, Revelation uh, is, and, and this is Revelation 1 1, it says, This is a revelation of Jesus Christ. Okay. And then in, down in the eighth verse, he says, I am the Alpha and the Omega. He said, I am the beginning. That's the Alpha. We'll part, start focus on that. I am the beginning. Amen. So who is Christ? He is the beginning. And so where are you? Oh, hallelujah. You have been seated with him. In the beginning. Whoa, praise God. You're Hallelujah. sitting with, in the beginning. You're in the beginning. Mm, oh, glory mm, to God. Mm, and you might think, oh, that was just something that happened long, long ago. But mm, no, it's alive. 
The beginning is a realm of, that's a lie that's ongoing. It's a present day truth. Mm -hmm. And we need to be walking and realizing that we are in the beginning. We are in oh, Christ, the alpha. We are in the beginning. Oh, and, and this God. is going to change your perspective if you can catch hold of it. This is not going to uh, witness it with your mind because this is going to go into it's your heart. heart. Because this is a <laughs> prophetic message. Yes. And this is going to impact your heart if you'll open your heart to it and believe Amen. that Christ is the beginning Hallelujah. and we are in Christ and in the beginning is the fullness of God and in Christ is the Hallelujah. fullness of Christ Thank but you, you know it doesn't end there Revelation uh, 4 it, uh, it talks about by him oh hallelujah he created all things for his will and his pleasure the reason I'm going over these verses is to let us know what how the beginning happened and what was it mm. what was its purpose the beginning because that's where we are see yourself in the beginning in oh, Jesus because he hallelujah. is the beginning read this you verse. are worthy O Lord to receive glory and honor and power for you are create you have created all things and by your will they exist and were created oh, hallelujah there are now that's there. where you are we are in the beginning we are in christ oh he is hallelujah the beginning of all things see it's not over with it's not over with your family Amen. situation is not, not over with. with your your finances Sorry. financial situation not, not over, over with, with because he's giving you victory you need to know how to Shalala walk da, 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 in the beginning, beginning in the realm um, of, the of the new the beginnings show. this is a Hallelujah. night this is a night you mark it down you can you can write it down on your calendar this is a new beginning for you Amen. god has a new beginning for Woo! you tonight hallelujah yes hallelujah thank you lord and hallelujah. many of you need that new beginning hallelujah oh praise god and it starts starts in your thinking hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. okay now you might think well everything's done everything's uh, everything's settled no look at this look at isaiah 50 43 don't don't remember all of the things of the past forget about all of the, things uh -huh. of the past because god has something New, new for you <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Isaiah 43 18 and 19 do not remember the former things nor consider the things of old behold I will do a new thing new beginnings now it shall spring forth oh hallelujah even tonight your spirit man is already leaping I can see it on the inside of you and you're saying inside yourself you're saying i want that new thing i want the new beginning i want to go into a higher realm uh with the lord hallelujah hallelujah and now it shall spring forth now now well, right now the new thing god is doing now, right now he's doing it now he's doing a new thing he's doing it now forget the old, old stuff forget everything in the past he's doing new thing a new thing now he's doing a new thing now in your life huh. now, shall you not know it don't you I want will, to know it i will even make a road in listen to this and some of you need to hear this and it's a word for you i will make a a road in the wilderness and rivers come forth in the desert Hallelujah. if you're in a dry place if there is a been dormancy uh in some areas of your life Right now, the river is flowing into those areas. It might be physical. It might be emotional. It might be in the in the natural realm, and it also might be in the spiritual realm. He is beginning uh, to let the river flow so that you become fruitful and productive Hallelujah. in the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, here's another um few verses I want us to talk about and that is Ephesians uh, chapter 3 and it's a prayer that uh, that Paul prayed and, and I, I pray I prayed this over myself uh, for a year at a time I pray this and I and we pray it over you and and this is an important prayer but it's going to show you something very interesting in it he said uh, I, I'm asking that you be granted 
to be strengthened with might by your by his spirit in the inner man that you might uh, that you might know about the love of Christ and and then he talks about the love of Christ has four dimensions breadth width length and height mm -hmm. now mm -hmm. if I show you a piece of paper if I show you a piece of paper and we drew a, a map on it that would have two dimensions where you and I sit where we are those are three dimensions but God's realm is it says four dimensions here because that's the love of God. And now I know that people just, uh, um, you know, try to trivialize that, make it just trivial. But but really, God has multiple dimensions. It's always uh, intrigued me that so many people have gone to to heaven for a while, and and they come back and they tell us about their testimonies. And they, what I've always heard over and over again, that when they go there. Uh, the, the first person they see is Jesus and they talk mm -hmm. and communicate with, you know, that's just incredible. Billions of people and they all get to see Jesus one-on-one. -on -one. And, and how is that? What well, He's in a different dimension. He's He operates differently mm -hmm. than you and I. We, we just live in a three-dimensional uh, world, but he has multiple dimensions and we need to recognize that he wants us to walk through this earth. He's, he didn't take us out of the earth. But he mm -hmm. he wanted to save us from this. But he seated us at a at a higher realm. He wants us to operate in a higher dimension Amen. than this world. But that was so we can call forth heaven uh, and bring heaven to earth. That's what he wants us to do. Uh, we have to see ourselves seated in heavenly places. Don't just see yourself as a mere man or woman walking on the earth with problems and crying out to God to, to fix your problems. You are so much more than that. He has invited you mm. into his realm, Hallelujah. Into, into his heart, yes. into his heartbeat, into new creations where, where, where things are being made new mm -hmm, mm -hmm. To, for you. Mm -hmm. He's doing a new thing for you Hallelujah. And, and another Hallelujah. thing God said to us uh, prophetically was that He's putting us in a good place, yes. in a good land. Amen. Amen. And, and He says, I, I, "I, I've called it in the Word of God, Goshen." Mm -hmm. Now we see it in Genesis <laughs> uh, when Joseph became to began to rule over Egypt, that uh, Jacob and his uh, children and his uh, family came down there to Egypt. And Pharaoh said, now I want you, I'm talking about Genesis 45, and he's talking to his family, and he's uh, Pharaoh, I mean uh, Joseph, because he's a ruler of the land, if you read uh, Genesis 45, 8. And he said, I want you to be here near me. It's like Jesus is saying, mm -hmm. oh, I want you to be in a good place. I want you to be right here, here next with me. to me. Amen. And, and even Pharaoh, once he found out uh, Joseph's family were there, he said, I want them to be in the good land here in Egypt. Oh, you, give, yeah. you put them in, in Goshen. And I want Sherry to read this verse out mm -hmm. of uh, uh, Genesis 40, uh, 47. And uh, it says it twice. It says it twice. Genesis 47. Genesis 47. Where are we? Oh, you, you went one way past the Here it go. is, right here. Then Pharaoh spoke to Joseph, saying, your father and your brothers have come to you. The land of Egypt is before you. Have, have your father and brothers dwell in the best of the land. The best. The best of the land. Let them dwell in the land of Goshen. And if you know any competent men among them, then make them chief herdsmen over my livestock. Okay, so what that's saying is, and this is the example for us. This is a symbol of what God wants for us. He wants us near him in the best place. And in that mm -hmm. best place, he called it Goshen. And, and mm -hmm. then we see in Exodus, we won't read there, but the land of Goshen didn't have the place. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, it, it said it was set apart. It was apart. It was set apart in which my people dwell that no swarms of flies, there's no flies in Goshen shall be there in order that you may know that I am the Lord in the midst of the land 
And I believe that there were no gnats there either. <laughs> Hallelujah. And no mosquitoes there. <laughs> Praise the name of Jesus. That, that, that's where God wants you. In a good place. In a good place. Close to him. And the best of the land. And, and so you can receive the benefits of that land. And then you, you don't have to worry about the plagues and the curses and the diseases. Amen. Because Amen. there's a shield of protection over God's people mm -hmm. in the best place. That's where he, want, he wants you to be. I, I'm excited about this because this is what God wants for you. He wants you in a place near him yes. and in that place is a place of new beginnings where things are being created and how are they being created mm, it's by, by the way that you speak what you prophesy yes. what you declare what you prophesy over your spouse what you prophesy over your children what you prophesy over your life over your life over your finances what you prophesy what you declare what you decree what you will accept and what you won't accept bind on earth and, uh, what needs to be bound and loose on earth what Amen. needs to be loose what will you put up with Hallelujah. and what will you not put up with it's a time to rise up, up and make a decision and make a decree Hallelujah. and receive the best that God has for you. Amen. God wants you next to him in a good place Amen. where there's protection, where there's provision, where there's prosperity. That's what God wants for you. And I'm I'm excited. Hallelujah. I'm excited. And you do not have to sleep another night with the frogs. You do not have to sleep with the frogs. Hallelujah. 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 Lord, we thank you. Now, the Lord said something else about this realm, the realm of the new beginnings. He said in this realm, there are reversals. Woo! Hallelujah. And Hallelujah. he said, in this realm, I want the weak to say, say I, I am, am strong. strong. I want the poor, poor to, to say, say, I am rich. I want the sick to, to say, say, I am healed. Woo! Reversal. Hallelujah. In this place. This is a good place. Mm -hmm. And he wants reversals. And, and and it it doesn't just fall on you like cherries out of a tree. You, you've got to say some things. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, hallelujah. But in this realm, let, let's look at Matthew here. In this realm, the last shall be first. And the first. Shall be, be last. last. Amen. Yeah, Amen. Matthew, no, you went past, huh? No. no. You got it? I'm getting there. I'm getting uh, there. Hallelujah. Stay with me. Okay. Matthew 1930. Many who are first will be last. And the last first. So where is that going to happen? It's in the good land. Mm -hmm. It's in the good place mm -hmm. near God where he wants you to be mm -hmm. in the realm of new, new beginnings. beginnings. And then and let's look at Joel. What did Joel say? Joel 3.10. Let the weak say, I am strong. Hallelujah. There were, you, can reverse, the Lord. you can reverse things. You can reverse mm -hmm. things. Let the weak say, I am strong. Glory to God. Okay, I've got one more verse here. Psalm 103 verse 5. It says, and we, we speak this over ourselves every single day because we have much to do for the Lord, and so do you. This is talking about a reversal, reversal of aging. Woo! Who Hallelujah. satisfies your mouth with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. Hallelujah. Ah, ah. You, you want a reversal of aging? Well, right there it is. Hallelujah. Begin prophesying it over yourself. Over your loved ones. Amen. Begin prophesying, declaring what you will put up with and what you want, what your desires are. Let it come out of your spirit, man. Amen. Because Amen. That, that's where your desires come up. Those are the desires that God gives you when they come up out of that spirit. Hallelujah. Man. Those Hallelujah. are the desires that come up. You begin to prophesy them. And they'll be the words that God is standing behind mm -hmm. those are the words that have power to bring themselves to pass and that's what, what leads you into the new beginnings and so what you have to do here if we're going to go this place it's a new beginning and you're just going to start some new things it's going to be out of your comfort zone and you're going to act differently than you've acted in your comfort zone mm -hmm. you, you've got to mm -hmm. you've got to step out there and do 
do some things that you mm -hmm. haven't done before. And you may be criticized. And are you ready for that? Because you've got to be ready for whatever God wants you to do. And it may look crazy. It may look silly. It may look foolish, but he uses the foolish, foolish things, world, the foolish things to confound the wise the wisdom of this world. Woo. Hallelujah. 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 But well, this is a place you, you have to, to go into this place, a place of new beginnings, the realm of new beginnings. You have to be willing to take risk because this is where the great rewards are. This is where the great rewards are. Now, and you can just skim by uh, like we've all been skimming by in the past and get a little bit of here, or a little bit of over there. But if you want the great rewards, you've got to go into this realm I'm talking about tonight. The Lord is, is leading us into the realm of new beginnings, places we haven't gone. We have to search out mm, territories mm, mm. that we haven't searched out before. And we're going to have to have faith. We're going to have to believe. And, and we're going to have to search it out. And where is the door? Well, the door is the word of God. Jesus I said, said I, I am, am the door. door. Jesus is also the word of God. And so the door to these new beginnings, it's through Jesus Christ, through his word. And so you're going to have to search some things out. And you're going to have to take some risk. And by that, doing some things you haven't done before. See, many of us are, are comfortable in what we've been doing. And we may have be patting ourselves on the back and say, "Woo, we've done good. We've done good." <laughs> but he wants you to move into a new area yeah. that, that that you're going to be stretched. He wants to stretch you mm. to move, take you someplace you haven't been. But that's where the great rewards are. You want to see your mm. your body healed. You want to see the aging process reversed. You want to see uh, healings in your ministry. You want to to begin operating in prophetic tongues or prophetic voices and, and uh, tongues and interpretations you want want the signs of, uh, and signs and wonders you, you're going to have to step out of your comfort zone Amen. it's Amen. easy to stay where we are and do what we've always done but we'll uh, continue to get what we've always had and that's not what God wants for us he's inviting us into the realm of new beginnings Hallelujah. and that's where the great rewards are but now here i know you're going to have to believe in order in order to explore uh the new territories that god wants to take you into and wants to take all of us into new territories it's going to be with faith it's going to take faith now the mm -hmm. uh, people came to him in uh, john to jesus in john chapter 6 and said what must we do to do signs and wonders. Mm, what, are, right. what, what are we going to have to do uh, to do uh, the works of God? And this is what he said. Then they said to him, what shall we do that we may work the works of God? And Jesus answered and said unto them, this is the work of God, that you believe in him whom he sent. Okay. Hallelujah. So what, where was that? John 6. John 6, 28 20. and 29. Okay, so there was John 6. Verses 28 and 29, and we have to believe. So if we're going to go into this realm of new beginnings, we've got to take some risk. And we have to believe to explore these new areas. And there's going to be some great victories and great rewards here because he wants to give you victory in your mind, victory in your body, victory in your finances, Amen. victory in your family situation. He wants to give you victory. It's all there in this realm of new beginnings. But there are risks that have to be taken. You have to step out and, and with abandonment there because you trust him mm -hmm. where the spirit leads and then you abandon your uh, rules and regulations and agendas and schedules and, and you do what he's saying by the spirit. So you begin to trust him. You have that abandonment of the things of the past to trust him to go where he says and do what he says. You know, Jesus said, I only speak what I hear my, my father, father say, speak. and I only do what I see my father do. And, and then uh, in John chapter eight, and this will be the last verse. John chapter 10. Oh, I'm sorry, John verses, chapter 10. 37 and 38. He, they, if, they ask him, you know, 
what what is this and how do we do what what you do and read this verse if i do not do the works of my father do not believe in me but if i do though you do not believe in me believe the works that you may know and believe that the father is in me and i in i am in him okay what's happening here he's saying he's pinning everything on his identity on doing signs and wonders and miracles oh i wish there would be some people that would do that that they're willing to do pin their identity on the signs and wonders that follow them there's a lot of people that stand up and teach and, and say a lot of good uh, flowery words but are there signs and wonders that follow them that follow them See, that's what Jesus has said. I'm pinning everything on this one thing, that there are going to be signs and wonders in this ministry. And I just want to say personally that uh, in, the, in recent weeks and months, there have been so many signs and wonders and miracles that are occurring in our ministry. And I'm not satisfied with just a dead letter of the word. I, I'm not satisfied with that. I want signs and wonders. I want miracles. Uh, where we go, we're expecting miracles. We're expecting miracles in these Zoom meetings because that's who we are. We have made a decision that we're going to operate in this realm that God wants us or into the realm where he has called us. And I know that it is the realm of new beginnings and there are Amen. territories Amen. that I have not moved in, but I want to move uh, to in a higher and higher level. And I am expecting signs and wonders and miracles in our ministry. And uh, this is something that the, that he gave us a model here. He gave us a pattern, set it on, set your, the, what you do, speak what the father says, do what you see the father do and expect signs and wonders Amen. wherever you go. You know, it said uh, in uh, Matthew 9, 35, he went through the villages and cities, mm -hmm. cities and villages and teaching and preaching the gospel of the kingdom and demonstrating Praying. the gospel of the kingdom with signs and wonders, healing all sicknesses and all diseases. And that's what we will do because that is our mandate. Hallelujah. Thank you for being here. I'm going to turn.